MMRBQ. 93.3 WMMR here in Philadelphia. We're backstage uh, MMRBQ 2 with Ben of Breaking Benjamin. What's up? How's things, man? Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Things are going great, man. Thanks yeah, for having yeah. me. We, uh, we were, uh, I, I'm sure you recall this. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I think we were in touch with you guys. You guys are officially, I guess, our favorite band or our listeners' favorite bands. Awesome. I'm referring to the, uh, the MM Arch Madness thing. Did you hear about that? I did hear yeah. about that, and it's an honor. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I mean, that is huge. Yeah. I mean, that thing started with like 64 bands, and you just watched Breaking Benjamin go through, 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 till it was That's you awesome, man. and Pearl Jam. And then you waxed them. I know, man. That's tough, man. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Are you are you a Pearl Jam fan? Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Who yeah. isn't? Yeah. True. True. Yeah. And uh, that's just such. A, you could tell, like you're you, being, you know, based locally, that your your fans came out in full force and said, "Dude." Oh yeah. Well, if it wasn't for them, you know, right. obviously right. it wouldn't be where. You guys we're are at. from uh, Wilkesbury, is that right? Yeah, we're like based around there. Right. I, now I heard an interesting story, and I don't know if it's true or not. Just you know, through the grapevine. It's not true. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just about how when you guys first got started, there was some DJ up there. Yeah, his, he's actually our tour manager yeah, now. Right. Yeah. Tell me that story. What's the deal with it? Oh, it's pretty cool. I used to. He was like the um, Howard Stern of our area, right. and kind of like a shock jockey sure. or whatever you would call it, and um, pretty big for for our area. So right. he had a lot of pull, yeah. and he would just you know sneak our songs in in between, and uh, he'd piss the PD off yeah, a lot, which is program director. Right. If anybody out there doesn't know. But he would just, he'd have the program director, you know, turn in red. You know, he'd just keep playing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's actually really funny because he would compress the songs so that they were only like two and a half minutes long. Right, right, right. So I'd listen to him on the radio. I'm like, I don't remember recording it this fast. But at least they were in there. He could sneak it in then. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, after he did that, um, it just turned from, you know, having, you know, 300 people to 600 yeah, people, right, so on right. and so forth at shows and stuff like that. Right. So. And then when you guys made it, you just said, you're coming with us. Yeah, after a <laughs> while, we were like, it makes perfect sense just to take them along with us. The new record, Phobia, by the way, I'm a huge fan. Love, Thank you. Love the stuff. Love Thank it all. You. And really, really dig the new record. Phobia. Why Phobia? Why'd you call it Phobia? We noticed on your website you had like... Fear of uh, yeah, fear of society, fear, fear of all these, pretty yeah, much and, everything. And the record title phobia. Any particular reason? Or? Well, just because you know, I uh, like many musicians suffer from some anxiety, you know, right. and and um, I had been going through that in the studio because of you know deadlines and yeah. quality yeah. assurance. Yeah. And my half, like I'm that's hard on myself. I mean, when you're putting out a you know, especially to follow up a, a successful record. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Right. That's where all the stress comes yeah. from, you know. But <laughs> then you know, after a while, I just stopped caring. But at the time, you know, I was just really about to have a like, nervous breakdown and yeah. stuff. So, but so, but just thought it made sense because that's what was going on. We right. were doing it. Yeah. And uh, do you have any fears yourself? Other I have a lot of fears. Basic anxiety? I have a fear of pretty much everything. I'm scared of you right now. <laughs> Please. <dude. laughs> no. I'm the most harmless guy you'll ever meet. Yeah. No, I know. But no, it's, you know, I have a fear of flying. I don't fly. I have a fear of germs. Now, do, do, so do you take the tour bus everywhere you go then? Yeah. Don't fly? No. No. So do yeah. you do any overseas shows or... I would if they put me on a boat, but on a they've boat, never right, offered right. yet. You know, there's a lot of people like that, though. They were like... Yeah, Madden's like that. Yeah, yeah. It takes that bus everywhere. Yeah. Mr. T, remember? Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> they, had to, they had to, like, drug his milk. Yeah, they're going to drug my milk. <laughs> so you wouldn't, do, you wouldn't do it at all? Like, if you no. could just take something and knock out and sleep through the whole thing? No, because I'm actually scared of that, too. Right. I'm scared Seriously. I won't wake up from yeah. that. So do you get, like, you know, these offers to come play Europe? Because, I mean, they've got to be starving for you if they're huge fans over there that like the record, and they're like, well, they're not going to come here. You from go. what I hear from other bands that are friends of ours, like right. good close friends of ours, like see there in three days yeah. and stuff like that. That I hear that when they go over there, people are asking about us yeah. because yeah. we do a tour in the States and then they leave for Europe right. and we don't go with them. Right. And people are like, where's Reagan Benjamin? Maybe you should get on a boat one day and just go. I would love to. A cruise or something? I would love to send a letter to my record label yeah. or something because they're not... <laughs> They've I don't never even know how offered. How long does it take to get across the ocean? I don't well, know. and they're owned by Disney, so I know they got a couple cruise yeah, ships sure. I could I could sure. stow away Make on. Make a vacation. Why sure. Not? Breath is the uh, first number one single. Is that right? I guess first if you say one, so. That's, <laughs> I, well, that's what I've, I've been told. That's huge. Thanks, that's, man. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty big deal, huh? Yeah, it's cool to actually have a second single that's doing good. Like yeah. you know. Yeah, and the new records come out. I mean, with Diary Jane, and then. And then with Breath, it's just, you know, any plans to release a third single, or is that just record company well, stuff? that's up to all, yeah. all you guys at radio, yeah. I guess. Oh, well, you know, we'll play it. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, we'll play it around here. <laughs> you're actually friends with Pat Callahan, who used to play with Seether. Yeah. Right, right. And yeah. now you're touring with Seether. How's that? Did you tour with them before, when Pat absolutely, was in the band? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I've known those guys for years yeah. now. Years, yeah. And three days. 
As a right. matter of fact, one of the first tours that we ever did was with Three Days Grace and Seether and Evanescence and ourselves. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah, so that was years ago. How many how many dates into this tour are you with with Seether then? Um, with Seether, it's like our sixth or seventh show or something right. like that. I don't right. know, man. It's hard to keep yeah, track. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You took some time off over the summer though. Had to cancel some shows just for whatever reason. Yeah, I was yeah. Uh, pretty much spent. Right. I know it was over two months, and you know, right. in my defense, I. I asked them not to book them, and they did anyway. Right, and I right. knew I couldn't handle it. It's uh, I think, I, matter of fact, I think it was an interview with you that I heard that you might have done with uh, Pierre, uh, our midday guy, who said uh, you were talking about just being in a band and how you know what people see is that one hour a night when you're pouring your heart out. You oh know? yeah. And they're like, they're not, they're not seeing the other 23 hours a day, which no. is it's not all. You know. And they and they think that like you just you know you, you're at home and then you got out of bed and then you go and do a show. Right, they, right, they don't right. know you've been on the road for like two months yeah, or whatever before that. You, I'm sure. You got a different vibe, like you say. You know, sometimes you get anxious about this or that when you get out on stage. Is it completely different world? Just. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird for me. I just because I mean, you get up there in front of thousands of people. Well, don't don't like try and make me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you know, I'm doing good right, so far. Right, right, you're gonna right, right. you're gonna make me yeah. freak out. Yeah. No, I don't think about it, man. I just go out there, I do my thing, and you know, just do what everybody yeah. else does. I just think to myself, everybody else is out there rocking it. I can too. And yeah, sure, sure. You know, playing with these guys here today, it's like, you know, it's it's humbling for me very much because like live and collective solar here and stuff. Yeah. And, and how cool is it that like half this bill is a Pennsylvania band, so, like Silver Tide, awesome. New Sphere, you guys live. I mean, half it's, the bill. It's Local awesome, band. yeah, man. Yeah. It's cool. Looking forward to playing tonight. I am, yeah. Looking forward to tearing it up. I My am. Uh, producer here, Kristen, she was she was uh, hoping that uh, the rest of the band would just stop by too because she had this thing. For, you'll have to explain it, because I'm not familiar with it. There was some MTV Got thing. Got a crush before. on one of the boys. <laughs> it was before <laughs> Breaking Two of them, the, What's They the were in Lifer, but yeah. it was Strangers with, thick, or with Candy. With Candy, yeah. I was obsessed with them when they won that MTV cover band contest. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, even my brothers and sisters and I, we still have that single on, like, all the CDs we still make. And I have to s I'll send them over for you. Yeah. Now, who was singing for that band? Who was that? If it was... If That's actually a, another really good friend of mine. His name is Nick Coyle. Yeah. And he's uh, in a new band now called the Drama Club. That's gonna be tearing some stuff oh, up. Oh yeah, later. okay, all right, all right. Who are you fans of right now? Like, you, what are you listening to? When you're on I there? listen to pretty much anything, you know. But I'm really into this band called Fair to Midland right now. Right. And, yeah. And you know, just obviously everybody we tour with, I get to hear them for free every night. I heard great things about this Fair to Midland. They just did a show here at the. Kristen, who was it that Fair to Midland opened for? I'm having a brain fart here. They just played Chevelle? Teal. Yes, Chevelle. That yeah. was it. Thank you. Yes. See, I even know their yeah. schedule, and I'm, yeah. the, I'm an obsessed fan. Yeah, and I heard great things. People came back, and they, they went to see Chevelle, and they came back, and they said, you got to hear this band. Yeah, they're this, great, yeah. man. They're really cool dudes. And make That's really another cool thing, music. too. When you tour with all these bands, like you're eventually going to end up on the road with bands you're actually a fan of. And it's yeah, just... well, like I was saying, like with Collective Soul and Live and stuff, like I used to listen to them, you know, like, right, was, right. like back in the day, and it's just an honor. It's a privilege to... Yeah. Yeah. share the stage with him and like how see cool him I'm it? like there's Ed there's Ed yeah, yeah and how cool is it when they like maybe come come around and compliment you and say great set or, it's you know, like I don't even believe it's happening right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah right we suck no I just, <laughs> just, like, yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. hang my head down yeah. thank you That's so cool. <laughs> with this That's big so stupid cool. smile on so my cool. face so and uh, you were telling me off here sober eight months now yeah yeah Yep. That's crazy. How's that treating you? It's got to be tough on the road, right? It, it is and it isn't because, you know, like I was saying to you before, I've drank enough for about five people's right. lifetimes, right. and I don't really miss feeling like crap every day. Yeah, yeah. And you that's know? the thing, too. You always wake up feeling like crap. I speak from experience because I feel like crap today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there, there's I'm sure there's many shows that people have been to where I've said, man, I'm hungover, and yeah. I really was. And yeah. it's just not, you know, I, it's not a... Good and then thing. it turns into the, a vicious circle. They say with people, especially like when you're when you're out and you got to do a, a job to do it. With you, you're in a band and you want to perform every night and you want to perform up to par. Mm. And so the only way to feel better, oh, we'll just drink again. You know? Yeah, well, that's exactly what right. it is. And and for me, like I like I was saying to you with the phobia thing, like yeah. I do have some anxieties and drinking was a good cure for that for yeah. me. So now I just deal with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I just push through it. Yeah. But drinking for me mainly was was that. Right. Everything like I, I'm scared to fly. I'm scared to ride on a bus. So like when the bus would start cooking up, ready to go, man, I'd get hammered and yeah. you know just sleep sleep. Well, you must it. really love what you do because you fight through all that crap <laughs> to do right. it. Yeah. That's right. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> ben from uh, Breaking Benjamin, I appreciate you stopping by, man. Thanks it's for a, totally me, man. a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, man. Honor to meet you. Thank you. Honor to meet you. Breaking Benjamin will be on stage next at the MM Barbecue Two here at the Tweeter.
You're listening to 93.3 WMMR. <laughs>